Like billions of federal dollars aimed at fighting food insecurity are at risk with the deadline for Congress to approve a new farm bill quickly approaching. If Congress doesn't pass it soon, Colorado food banks could really feel the pinch. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Coffey is live in our newsroom tonight to explain how the farm bill impacts their funding. Emily. Karen Share Food Bank relies on money from the farm bill to operate at the capacity that they do right now. That's because 20% of the food bank's overall funding comes from programs in the bill. And that money could run out in a few weeks if Congress doesn't act. It is the single most important legislation uh, for food security in the United States. The Farm Bill comes up before Congress every five years. It incorporates food assistance programs with things like crop insurance for farmers. This year, representatives in Congress are debating how to fund each program that benefits from the Farm Bill. Right now, more than 70% of the bill's spending is for food assistance programs. Uh, why we don't want to see the Farm Bill cut is because if the farm bills cut, then our lines get longer. Karen Share has seen a bigger need for food resources recently. The CEO says the need became greater when emergency pandemic food assistance benefits expired at the federal level. He also says rising food prices don't help the situation. Food banks are kind of the safety net of the food security system in Southern Colorado. And then the Commodities Supplemental Food Program, CSFP, gets commodities to food banks like Karen Shear. The Farm Bill funding expires on September 30th. Congress either needs to pass it or approve other funding measures to avoid our food banks being impacted. Reporting live in our newsroom, Emily Coffey, CareDO News Channel 13.